guys, I'm here in the display room here at Tackle HD where we keep a nice little selection of our baits. We really have a 125,000 square foot warehouse where we keep all of our baits. But we have a Black Friday sale going on right now. Uh, you're going to get free shipping on all your orders. And if you spend $75 or more, you're going to get an additional 15% off on top of that. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little preview of the... Uh, all of our baits and our Black Friday sale, but I'm getting ready to head out back and meet up with Jeremy. And in the last video, you've seen the production of some brush busters. Well, we were making so many, our machines got a little hot and we got to unclog the heat exchange. So I'm going to head back there, meet up with him and get rolling with that. Stay tuned. It's a decent one. They're fighting. Nice. On the freaking sexy shed. Listen, the turkeys in background, Jeremy. Yeah, they're right there. It's a dark one. Yeah, it's a pretty one. We're out here playing around with some fiddlesticks. Listen, folks. Two packs of Two packs. these, $12.99. And they absolutely catch fish. Oh, yeah. So something happened with the heat exchange back here. We're not really sure, but I'm gonna come talk to Jeremy and see what's going on. So what the heck's wrong with this thing? Well, it uh, got too hot. It freaking reeks. So, yeah, that's what this is. Jeez. When they get too hot, or you have a plug come out of your main electrical box, that regulates temperature. They tend to run a little all over the place and your plastic turns into ash. And it stinks yeah. really bad. Yeah, it, sm it smells so horrendous. We stuck it outside for a while and got it aired out. How hot do you think this thing was at first? Well, it's only supposed to go up to 400. Well, max. It's supposed to set an alarm off when it gets to 400, if it ever does, for any reason. This is the regulator, the thermal coupler for, to regulate when to shut off these four heating elements here you can see them um, they're probably about they go down about there on the side but anyway the uh, the plug wasn't plugged all the way in or got bounced loose and then it wasn't shutting off so I'm not sure what it got to but when we heat temped it with the heat gun it was uh, over 400 degrees so <laughs> now I gotta clean it out we got another one on there already, but some of them you can see, like, it turns into an ash and it gets oil in there. It's weird, but, like, they'll chunk up like this, and that's actually probably, if you look at it, it's glitter. When glitter gets hot, it melts in the yeah. balls like this. Dude, it smells awful. It smells terrible. Well, actually, I'm gonna try to blow blow this stuff out. That's what she said. <laughs> um, and if I get lucky, I won't have to take this whole thing apart. Hopefully, it's not it back too in. big of a pain in the butt. No, it's not a pain. It's just time consuming. Yeah. It's pretty simple though. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe come back in a little while and I'll have it put together and everything. So Jeremy got the heat exchange fixed. Uh, he gave me a text, so I'm back here now getting ready to check them out and see what they're doing. As you can see. Got it back in, it's up and running. Uh, just starting to push plastic through, but we're gonna put all these hoses back on, all your airlines and everything to here back on. You gotta put new tape. Teflon. Teflon tape. Teflon tape? <laughs> yep. And we'll see what it does. So I'm here with Jeremy and I just found out that we were starting this little new thing. We're going to be carrying some jig skirts, spinnerbait blades, and buzzbait blades 
and we're gonna be selling these separate, which is pretty cool. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to talk over and show you guys some. Jeremy knows a lot more about the stuff than I do. I just know we're starting to sell the skirts and blades separately, so it'd be kind of cool to show you guys. So yeah, so um, last year we bought a uh, company called Warrior Baits. Uh, this year um, we're gonna start. Well, actually, for 2022, it's going to launch, but we're going to start offering kind of like what Warrior did. Uh, lure components, uh, skirts, spinnerbait blades. Um, most of them will be for stuff that we already have. So this right here is actually a trophy bass blade. So we'll like two packs of blades. Skirts are being six packs. We've got the finesse style skirts here um the full uh band skirts the five inch skirts for your your uh, heavier jigs um here's another finesse skirt here these are just a few but pretty much everything that you see on our baits back here on our jigs that we currently offer and our spinner baits all those parts of those skirt colors and everything are going to be sold separately uh, sold separately too so if anybody wants to likes one of our skirt colors or I mean they can just you know buy a pack and pop them onto their jig That's you know cool. some jig heads that they pour um and then replacement buzz bait uh blades if they ever need them they'll be this is black here two pack yeah, and you'll but be able to have aluminum and yeah and there's gold like too. how many different weight options quarter three eighths and half and the buzz bait blades yeah well it's yeah two different two different sizes we use the size a they do um letters instead of numbers oh i got you but we do we have size a and size c so a will be on our three eighths and uh half ounce and then the quarter ounce will have the c's got you and all of our buzzbait blades are counterclockwise um and they're it's an inline blade instead of a tabbed out blade like two tabs it goes straight through the middle it seems to run better for us but so like the stuff you see here i mean even the even the blades for our cs2s the gold well the brass and nickel blades here yeah we're gonna offer those two and two packs sweet that's cool and then that skirt color will be offered um just kind of give everybody uh an option to customize their own or We've taken the initiative to place some large orders to be able to do this program and offer some skirts out there to people that have a hard time getting them. We're just trying to offer a lineup of at least what we have, and then we're, we're going to look into some, probably some other colors as well that are popular that we don't carry and try to get those in the hands of our customers and people out there that are, um, want to continue pouring their own or want to modify anything that they have or put a bigger blade or anything on their spinner baits for the colder uh, season when they're slow rolling them with like number seven, so. That's cool. It's cool that we're gonna be offering all this to people that are starting their own thing or making stuff or just looking to get replacement parts for stuff that's falling apart. So yep. I think that's cool. I mean, there's so many different jig skirts options and blades back there. I mean, like, cause this one, is the hammered brass or whatever, and yep. that one's non-hammered. Yeah, so those will be like we have them. Those are flash hammered. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, with hammered on one side and painted on the other. But yeah, that's cool. Well, be on the lookout for some warrior stuff. Uh, hopefully by the end of this year or start next year, it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be a big step for us and getting more products out there. So.